uh, let's see, that women are emotional and women shouldn't run for public office. <laughs> All of these things that just I never are said absolutely... women shouldn't run for yes, public office. Yes, you have. You've said that If we're that talking before. about 50% of the population, generally out of this 250 million people or, or 150 million people, most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't work all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here? You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, I mean, boy. I'm I'm literally. Oh. You just said you're single. Oh. You don't have a boyfriend. You what? That's you're my celibate. Choice. Yeah, look, you're miserable. You would be so much happier with oh. kids around you tonight. <laughs> Imagine coming home, mommy's home. You're you, a you, you, you know you what, wanna... Gavin? You're you're not funny. You're not what you not you do not do anything. I'm trying to make you happy. You do not do anything for the better. Sean, this yes, isn't funny. Do. Feminism has made this... women miserable. Women were much happier when there were when housewives were glorified. I, guess what? I had right, a choice gotta... to be married, and Get I chose Tamara. not to. Right, I have a choice up. to have kids. You made a mistake. Tamara, we'll give you the last word. Go ahead. I think that your guest here is doing a disservice to all of the viewers to and to do, doing a disservice to America by saying that women, that I need to be married, that I would be happier would be at home, happier that you're, what, miserably married? Just because no, just ecstatic. having a I'm trying to share my joy. I, you should see my little two-year-old. Not two -year -old. everybody He's has the same life, the life pattern as you, okay? I know, it's the fall And not everybody wants to marry somebody in a, in a bootleg seersucker suit and go home to that. I don't want to go home to that. You don't have to go home to me. Go home to a hunk. <laughs> oh gosh! Jesus! This know. is absolutely disgusting. And Sean, I, you I should actually speak you up do. for the viewers th today and I, let them know I that think, I think your daughter should have a choice. I think I think women do have, have a choice. choice. Absolutely, of course. No one's saying women right. shouldn't have a choice. Right. Well, we I speak unto thee this day, and I say, as long as there are souls perishing, you will always be in war. And I say, as long as there are souls in captivity and slavery. To demons who are crying to be delivered, you will always be in war. For I say it is me, the living God, who has called you to be soldiers in the warfare for souls. Therefore I say, do not do as some have done, that is, return to the civil life, return to the life of these, return to the life of sleaze, and give up on souls. For I say that I, the living God, never called you to be as those who think they find a jolly good way and remain in the cycle of the same. But I say that I've called you to continue steadfastly, to follow, to follow, to follow me. Now I say there are those that hear my command, they obey my command. Then I say they stagnate in the same. That is, they choose only to follow the initial command and not continue to follow me. And I say they settle themselves in a way whereby they are comfortable in the same. And I say when I live in God do move on, they do not follow me. But I say they remain in the same place whereby they were introduced to my will, my way, and that is where they remain. But I say they are not continuing in the warfare, they are not continuing to abide, but I say they are simply remaining in one place forever. Now I say that I, the living God, do not find pleasure when men will do such a thing, for I say they are no longer commanded by me. But I say they have taken the reins of their lives, they have found their encampment, and in the same they remain. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to remain in any encampment in the spirit, dimension, and think that is all there is. For I say it is me, the living God, who brings new battles, it is me, the living God, who brings new offensives, and I expect you to follow me. That is, I expect you to continue steadfast in the war that I've set before me, ever made glad for my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the one who guides you forth. I say this day be thankful that you can indeed be walking uprightly, that you can indeed be brought forth ever renewed in me. And I say be thankful that I give to you the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace revealed. For I say when you walk in uprightness with me, then you are in inward peace. But I say when you refuse to obey and continue in my way, then I say that you die out with me. Now I say there are many who can go on in a religious rut year after year, but I say that their hearts are far from me. And I say they have forsaken the aspect of warfare in the spirit, they simply settle down to do the same old thing. But I say that the truth of it is there are fresh battles, there are fresh offensives I desire my people to enter into.
And I say that I desire that my people would continually die out who to what they are to become what it is that I purpose them to be. Now I say this day be thankful to continue to follow, to follow, to follow me. That is to walk in whatsoever way that I lead, that I guide, that I direct each day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. And it is me, the living God, who does intend that my people would be coming forth in me. That is uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that I provide. Now I say when I, the living God, do set you in a position, I say follow the strategies that I give unto thee. For I say when you are indeed in obedience to the mind of my spirit, then I say you are found pleasing me. But I say when any will resort to their own understanding, they have turned to lies. For I say you are not meant to be your own commander, you are meant to be commanded by me. Now I say consider when self is indeed in command of your life, you will settle for that which has nothing to do with the mind of my spirit at all. For I say you will turn to the lower rudiments, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, and find yourself in the same. Now I say there are some that I call to the battle, that I call to the war, who have done just that. That is, they have deserted the fighting force to return to the civilian way, and I say that the same is their death. I say this day do not look over the fence and think the grass is greener, for it is not. But I say be thankful that I, the living God, am in control. For I say when you start in a way and I, the living God, do bless thee, I say do not get eyes of adultery in the saints. That is, do not look over the fence and think that the grass is greener and that you should straddle the fence then go over the fence and desert me. But I say instead be proven to be faithful, to be true, to continue in my way. For I say that the battle is ever present and you must continue to fight the good fight. That is, you must continue to walk uprightly in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. And I say that you must indeed be thankful that I am the I am. That is, I am the one who is the way of truth and light and mercy revealed. Now I say, when you see the ones who are under the control of demon spirits, yet imagine they are super spiritual, I say they are in such a place because they have stopped following me. That is, they have set up on their thrones, they have established their own way and they love it so. And I say at one time they were humbled, they were willing, they were in obedience unto me. But I say when the going got too tough for them and they did not want to die to themselves, then they set up their own way. Then I say when the truth comes around and is presented to them, I say they will vehemently reject the same. And I say they reject the truth because they want their own way. I say such ones as these shake the dust and leave them to me. For I say you are not meant to strive with them, you are meant to continue in me. And I say you are not meant to settle down to war, only that one Jezebelian spirit, but I say you are meant to continue to fight the good fight. For I say it is me, the living God, who does lead my people onward in the war. Now I say there is nothing that the Jezebelian spirit loves more than all of the attention it can possibly gain. And I say you are not meant to give way to that spirit you are meant to bind the same. For I say that I don't think I do not call you to be ruled by any person or anything, but I call you to be ruled by me. And I say you are not meant to be ruled by demons, subject to demons and controlled by demons. But I say you are meant to simply abide in the mind of my spirit and be thankful unto me. And I say you are meant to be guided forth in the truth, the light, the mercy, the blessedness revealed. Now I say in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, let it be me that you will look to day by day. And let it be me who will be proven to be the life, the strength, the power, the glory intended for my own. For I say that the war is not finished, the battles are not over, do not look to retire and wallow in the same. But I say look to continue steadfast in the battle until your days are ended upon this earth. For I say that I the living God do not call my people to presume in their minds that they know a better way and make the same their goal. But I say that I call my people to be humbly walking in obedience unto me day by day. For I say when I the living God do lead you in a way, I say follow me. But I say if I turn the directions, if I switch the gears, I say continue to obey. That is, do not make your own goals nor aspire to acquire what you think you must have. But I say, simply be in obedience unto me. For I say, in that obedience unto me you find my life. Now I say, this day that it is me, the living God, you are meant to look to, to believe, to trust and obey. 
And it is me, the living God, you are meant to follow after, for I am the I am. That is, I am the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope provided. And I say that I am the strength intended for all who trust in me. Therefore, I say, in a way with a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, consider that it is me, the living God, who is able. It is me, the living God, who is the strength, the power, the truth, the glory, and I remain. Consider, likewise, that as long as you are in the battle, for souls that the enemy forces will always despise thee. That is, do not look for friendship nor fellowship with wicked doers, with those who have gone in their own way. For I say, even though men may name my name and claim they serve me, if they are not following me, they are not abiding in me. And I say they are considered dead branches. I say there are endless multitudes who are literally dead branches. I say give them the call to repent. And I say if they will hear that call and obey, they can be returned unto me. But I say if they choose to abide in death rather than life, then leave them to be burned. And I say continue to follow, to follow, to follow me. Now I say this day be thankful that I am the one who has called you that I am the one who will guide you day after day. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed adhere unto me. Now I say, there are multitudes who are found in Babylon's Jesus, and I say, they give forth the phraseology as though they are following me. But I say that the truth of it is they are covered in thieving and lying spirits, and I say they are out for their own way. And I say they will speak high-sounding phrases, they will give the right key words and trigger words, as though they are in the battle that I ordained. But I say the sad thing is they build men and women into Babylon's Jesus, into the falsehood, the delusion, the lies of the saints. And I say they fail to teach them the fear, the respect, the honor of me, because they themselves do not live in such realms with me. For I say they simply want to be in control. They want to boss me around as though I were some good old boy. And I say they want to have the reins of their lives and be the ones who are on this moment. And I say that they do not live in the fear, the respect, the honor of me. And I say you are in the time of my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed. And I say such ones are literally the enemies of the saints. For I say that they will not allow themselves to be judged, to be found lacking as they are. But I say they go on in presumption and pride, assuming they are all right when it is not true. And I say they are taking away that I never ordained because they are lacking in the fear of me. Now I say this day of men and women were truly living in the fear, the respect of me. I say they would not be welcoming in those who are guilty of abomination and all manner of filth. For I say they would realize that to do so brings contamination, which equals damnation of souls. And I say they would realize they are giving unto men polluted waters, filthy waters, waters that are full of all manner of disease and debilitation when men partake of the same. But I say, because they have no fear of me, they go on in their man-made shows, in their proud displays, exhibiting how great they think they are. And I say, oh, how they brag, oh, how they strut, oh, how they boast themselves. But I say, in the end, they will be judged, they will stand desolate, they will howl and moan in bitter remorse. For I say, they have sown unto the wind, they have sought to serve the God of self rather than me. And oh yes, they are clever in their imitation, their emulation, their declaration. But I say that they do not fear me. And I say when men are lacking in the fear of me, they do not obey me. But I say they will connive and scheme to have their own way. They will use the correct terminology to make you think they are abiding in me. But I say they have chosen deceit. They have chosen to establish their own way. Now I say, when you see the ones who have stopped following me, yet hold a glimmer of remembrance of the good old days when they were in my ways, consider they have given themselves under pride. That is, they are proud of their one revelation, they are proud of their one humiliation, but I say they are no longer following me. For I say they have set up their encampment, they remain the same, and they will not obey the commands of my spirit to follow me. I say thank you and praise me that you do not need to die in your encampment, but you can continue in my way to partake of the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. The Washington Free Beacon, which is a legitimate newspaper, yes. But it's yeah, look, there's different ways to look at the data, but the big picture here is women do earn less in America because they choose to. 
they would rather go to their daughter's piano recital than stay all night at work working on a, a, a you know proposal. What? So they end up earning less. They're less ambitious. And I think this is sort of God's way. This is nature's way of saying women should be at home with the kids. Are They're you, happier there. I, I hope that your viewers do not take you, sir, seriously. There's a great book because you should read. It's called Why Men Earn More. And it's all about women choosing to put family over work. And that's why they earn less. Having a choice does not mean that you're less ambitious. And your comments are absolutely deplorable. Sean, I would like less you... Less ambitious in the world. I would like, like you to adjust this. I would... He's standing on biblical principles. He's standing for everything God teaches. And not just not taking crap from a Jezebel woman like this and you know